So, is your eyeshadow coming out looking like this? Not blended, kind of patchy, the colors aren't showing up the best. It's all right, girl. That's why I'm here. I got you. I got you. I'm gonna show you how to blend your eyeshadows like a pro today. The problem with this eye is, first of all, this outer corner is not blended, and we don't have really anything to transition into the lid color, this goldy color, right? I'm gonna be using this little Fergie palette. I think a lot of people see this and they get kind of intimidated, especially by this orange color but they don't realize that this is kind of the key to getting that blended eyeshadow look. Four main tools that I like to use when I'm doing my eyeshadow. A small dome brush like this, it's just really, really teeny tiny and it's perfect to get into that outer V and pack on that color. This tapered blending brush, and I use that to blend out that outer crease color and blend it in and upwards, okay? This is a flat shader brush, and this is perfect for packing on the color onto your lid. And it's pretty universal. You could use it to, like, you know, put it underneath the lash line or whatever. But its main use is to just pack on color because it's so flat. Then to blend everything together, I like to use a really fluffy brush. Mine is looking a little bit in suspect because it was in my makeup bag, so excuse me. Just to show you really quick. I'm going to be using this palette and my thing is I like to use at least four colors when I'm doing my eyeshadow and the reason is I'll have this as like my brow bone color, I'll have this as my lid color which is just like a goldy orange color, this dark brown color as my outer crease color, and then I'll have this color as a transition to into my crease and my brow bone. And what I mean is this color is acting as a bridge in between the two. So I put it somewhere in here. And this is pretty much my orbital bone and that's going to go in between my brow bone color and my crease to help better blend and transition it into those two colors let me show you what i mean i've already primed my eyelids with my concealer um, my eyes are a little bit discolored so i like to use that to just even out the color and i set it with a powder if you don't have a concealer a good alternative is a jumbo pencil by nyx um, this one is just in strawberry milk, but it's a really good eyeshadow base. Just use it sparingly. It'll make your eyeshadows crease if you use it too much. I'm just going to start off with this color, and I'm going to use this as my lid color on my flat shader brush. And don't forget to tap off your brush so you don't have any fallout on your face. I'm just going to pat that all over my eyelid. Packing on your eyeshadows is um, a lot better than sweeping it on like this because you get better color payoff and you don't get as much fallout as, any, as well. Now I'm gonna take my bridge color, which is that orange color that I was telling you about, and I'm gonna use my tapered blending brush for that. And I'm just gonna put that right on the tips of my brush and tap it off. I'm gonna start out here on my outer crease area, and I'm just going to start doing windshield wiper motions back and forth getting that color right in that crease or above my crease I should say and that's where I think a lot of females are going wrong with their eyeshadow they have their crease color they have their lid color but they don't have something in between to blend the two together this is what um, this color is gonna do for us so I'm just putting that right in there and then I'm taking my fluffy brush and I am just blending that to make sure that it's seamless. So now that we have our bridge color or our transition, whatever you want to call it, um, laid down, I'll take my outer crease color. I do this because one, it gives the eyeshadow something to blend into, and two, it makes it easier to blend because I have something, another eyeshadow that I'm blending it on top of. This is a, a good word of thought. You don't want to come, you just want to take a pencil or your brush and go from the outside of your nostril to the outside of your eyelid and through to your brow bone and that's where you want to stop. You don't want to come past this or it's just going to make your eyes look droopy and bring them down. Just keep all the eyeshadow within this area. So like I said, I'm just going to take this dark brown color in my palette here. So you want the darkest point to be right on your outer crease. So right where the, the end of your eyelid is, that's where you wanna start.
putting down your dark colors, okay? And I like to take it and kind of sweep it inward just a little bit to help blend it into my actual eyelid color. I do really teeny tiny strokes on my outer crease just to get that color laid down and into the intensity that I want. Just slowly taking that into my crease. Because remember, we took our transition color a bit above our crease onto our over, our, our overall bone, okay? <laughs> yes. Continuing to sweep that inward, all right? If I say okay one more time, I know. We go back to our tapered blending brush, sweep, and do windshield wiper motions to blend out that line. And if you're using a brush like this, you kind of want to hold it at the end. This allows the brush to do its job and you're not like scrubbing the eyeshadow into your eyes. That's not how you want to do it. You want to let the brush do what it's supposed to do. So just kind of hold it at the ends or more so towards the end of your, of, of your brush and just do really tiny strokes with the tip of the bristles. And then from here you can decide whether you want to darken up this crease area, if you want to intensify your bridge color, or if you want to just go ahead and add your highlight, I'm going to do that right now. The lightest color in this palette, and sorry if this eyebrow is weird, like I said, ugh, my eyebrows are like second cousins, twice removed, I don't know. The thing about blending is having to go back and forth between your lights and your dark, so um, to help blend everything together. That's the whole point of blending your eyeshadows, it's just going back and forth in between the two to make sure everything is blended out, if that makes sense. With a fluffy brush, and I'm just going to sweep that right onto my orbital bone again. Okay, so you can clearly see the difference that that color makes for my eyeshadow um, com in comparison to this side. This takes practice and practice makes perfect, but do not be afraid of palettes like this because honestly, they're helping you out. The more variety and the more shades that you have, it, the better that it is for you to blend your eyeshadows. Just remember um, four colors. You want a light, you want um, your lid color, your dark outer crease color and your transition color. I'm gonna show you how to fix this, doing exactly what I just did with the transition colors. I'm just gonna take that orange. Transition colors are so important, boo. That's the key. That's the key. Now, I got some questions on, well, how do you incorporate black? Same way I just showed you with the dark brown. I'm just gonna take this black color and I take a little bit on the tips of my little dome brush and I'm just gonna go right on my outer crease with that. So I'm just gonna take my little brush and blend the line between my transition color and that dark color again. And as you can see, it's just, it just makes it so seamless. So I think that when you put a darker color, well, the dark color that you use on your outer crease, just on the outer part of your lower lash line, it helps to better balance everything together. So I'm just taking, that color and I'm just putting that oh! There's another option this is called a pencil brush and it's just a really tight tipped dome brush so you can just get in there and get that all blended out I'm just gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup and I'll come right back to you to go over really quickly what I did I because I really want to make sure that I explain this full enough for you guys to, to that you guys get it but um the main points that I want to say are to find really good tools to use. I'm not saying that you can't do your makeup without, you know, makeup tools, but it makes it a lot easier and it makes it look um, better and more blended if you do have um, some good tools. And 
a lot of people think that, you know, tools are really expensive and they're not, you know, Walmart, Target, CVS, you can get like full blending kits, you know, for um, a few dollars, you know, you don't have to spend $27 on one brush, you know what I'm saying? The main tool is a flat shader brush to pack on the eyeshadow on your lids, a small dome brush to pack on the crease color and to blend it out some. And then you want to use a tapered blending brush, something like this, that is small enough to get into that crease color and blend it in and upward and out. And then you want to use something like a fluffy brush like this that's not bent and use that to apply and blend out your transition color. Practice with a palette just so that you can get the feel of what I mean when I say a transition color in between your brow bone and your crease. Now something like this is great. I love the Fergie palette. It's really, really nice. Um, you wanna use about three to four eyeshadows, your fourth one being that transition color to get a really good blended look. If you want something that's like kind of like a foolproof palette, I really like this Sonia Kashuk palette. It's just the Eyes on Neutrals palette and it looks like this. Like a camel, tan color. This one is like a cool medium brown. So those are really good transition colors for someone that is probably fair to lighter skinned. Um, this is like a ruddy brown color and I, I like to use that for like a daytime look. Um, just, the, just to throw it in as my transition color and if I want to be beat and just out of this world, the, I'll just use like this cool tone, darker brown. Um, in my transition color for like a smoky nighttime look if I'm using like blacks and like other stuff like that and Of course, these are really good highlights for pretty much any skin tone um, If you're darker than me if you're uh, really deep toned This would be a really good highlight for you. So this palette is like super universal. I absolutely freaking love it um, It's matte. It's it's neutral. It's foolproof. It's great. I love it. No, I am not sponsored by wet n wild or it's on Kashuk yet but these are products that I use, I've used a few times in my videos. So I really hope that you guys like that. So yeah, I really, really hope this video helps you guys out. I hope that I explained it in a way that you guys can understand it. Um, if I didn't, please leave your question in the comments below. Please rate, comment, subscribe, share, you know the whole deal. I'm here, we're fall free and we're fabulous and we strut on these basics. You know it. <laughs> So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you later. Bye!